The Strategic Air Command and Aerospace Museum, its primary mission is to preserve the history of the Strategic Air Command and its legacy, and to preserve the aircraft and the artifacts that are part of the collection here. We have some of the most unique opportunities here. For example, the B-36 is one of four that are left in the country. Sitting right next to it is the uh, XF-85, which is one of two that are in existence. We have aircraft that can't otherwise be seen. Our RB-45C is the only one left in the entire world. And so people look at these objects and relate them to American history, American military history, and heritage, and what they represent. The High Pressure Exhibit focuses on the Korean War and aviation in the Korean War, uh, where we highlight uh, not just the timeline, but also some of the pop culture of the period and the role aviation played throughout the war. That is a story that needs to be told. Uh, where it fits uh, in the role of aviation, you're making the jump from radial propeller driven aircraft to jet engines, to fighters and bombers, uh, but also in the bigger world, I guess, of the Cold War. For people who are coming out to the museum, what we're hoping they get from this exhibit is a better understanding of the Korean War, how it played out, but also the individual stories. The education department has grown over the years. We served 32,250 student contacts in the community. A lot of our contacts are done through the Omaha Public Schools, the largest district in the state of Nebraska with over 50,000 students. Our science, technology, engineering, and math programs do include robotics. We have several activities directly related to robotics. Modular robotics with a product called Cubelets, where we take a number of blocks and put them together to create differently functioning instruments. We're teaching kids how to think modularly about how to engage and build the world of the future. We believe that the primary takeaway, the primary educational opportunity that we have at the Strategic Air Command and Aerospace Museum is to teach American military history. That is the first thing we do. The second is the history of Strategic Air Command, what it represented during the 20th century and going forward, what the legacy and history of that is.